on this episode of Mates of Craft. The garden begins. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number seven of Mates of Craft. My name is Jacob Spicer, and today the great British weather has improved to the point where we can get back out in the garden and continue works. So when we first moved in last year, the garden was basically a blank canvas. The previous owner hadn't done anything to improve it or honestly maintain it. And that's not a shot, I'm just saying it is what it is. But the back fence had a bush growing by it and the root ball was pushing out one of the fence posts, so it was like tilting in. Long story short, we had to replace that. And then I knew I wanted to turn the garage into a workshop, so I had to create a stores out there for, you know, garage stuff. That came out sweet, does the job really well. I also managed to get some power out into the garden and created this control panel that will run our lights, sockets, and pumps. And that's pretty much where we got to by the end of last year. The plan for this year, is that bad boy so straight away as you come out of the back doors i want to build a large deck in big enough to get a couple of sun lounges on there because that's the corner of the garden that gets the best sun you'll then step down into a nice cozy fire pit area and eventually i want to build a sauna in the corner then as you step back up onto the deck in the centerpiece of the whole garden will be this beautiful high table with a pond built underneath giant window look we'll get to all that that's its own build but you'll go around the corner and step down into a nice outdoor kitchen nice and social people will be able to sit at the bar you'll be able to fry up some patties also eventually i want to add in a putting green on the area of grass that we have got left some fountains and you better believe we're going to light this baby up like a christmas tree but before we get into building putting greens barbecue areas fountains and outdoor aquariums we've got some foundational work to do so i'm going to need a spade a skill saw possibly a wheelbarrow and some music <laughs> some digging and we've done some cutting now what we were cutting up out there was actually some used railway sleepers they were actually used on lines you can see the little holes in them with the clips 
found the metal to the, you know what I mean? But we've laid two of these bad boys down in the corner of the garden, in the trench that we've dug, and they're gonna act as a square border for the block work that we're laying. It will stick up just out of the ground by the time the block work's finished. And I've left a little gap between the sleeper and the fence and the sleeper and the wall so that we can run cables and water pipes because in this area there will be an outdoor shower at some point. Then we cut up another five sleepers and laid them in a grid formation to provide a nice solid and level base for our tank table. Now before installing these sleepers into position I took some really long and chunky screws and screwed them into the bottom of the sleeper. This meant that when it came to installation we could flip the things over, sit it on the screws they would dig into the ground, but the thing would still float in the air. So you could build the structure in the air using uh, some galvanized right angle brackets and then beat the thing down to where you want it and level. The screws will also act as an anchor that will pass down through the concrete bed that we laid underneath these things and into the clay below. Just gives it a bit more stability and strength. So now that both sets of sleepers are set nice and solid in place, and by the way, thank you to Jake Brown who came around and helped me shift them things, who was a big help that day, he even mix some cement. And he's trying to lose weight, so, you know, really I did him a favour, and that's okay. But now two sets, now the two sets of sleepers have been set up. The fire pit area is ready for MOT and block work, but first we're going to build our decking frame. So let's get back out there. I think we're going to need some rock music this time. Okay, so our decking frame is complete and it is looking beautiful. All that needs now is some decking boards, 
they're on order but in the meantime we've got some electrical work to do and we're going to get the framework built for the pond table but that won't be until the next episode so ladies and gentlemen if you're enjoying what we're doing here at mates of craft like the video subscribe to the channel also you can check out the mates of craft instagram where i'm doing more regular updates on the projects we've got going on and post in some of the clips that are used in the montages in these episodes now to see out this episode of mates of craft we've got a little bit of a treat for you my boy jake brown who came and helped out with the sleepers is actually a singer and let me tell you when he opens them pipes up it sounds like the baby jesus is just ah uh, you know what i mean so to see us out we got a jake brown cover of chris brown's wet the bed which as far as i can tell is a song about adolescent bedwetting which is relatable so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one i ain't afraid to drown if that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah Girl, I drink it down Sipping on your body all night I just wanna take your legs and wrap them round Girl, you're coming right now Head to your chest, feeling your heartbeat, girl Swimming all in your sea Then you swim all over me Bring it forward, don't you run Run, I'm gonna kiss you right I'm gonna make you mine Girl, when I'm inside Then girl, you heard what I said I'm gonna make you at the bed